Hey folks, here are OS Reviews. You're watching our video review of the AJ4. These are a pair of noise isolating in ear style headphones that sell for roughly 80 bucks online MRSP, but you can find it at a street price of around 40 bucks on Amazon. Now it comes in multiple variants, and this particular one is designed for Android smartphones, so the remote here should work with any uh, Android device in terms of playing, pausing your music, rejecting a call, as well as skipping your tracks. There's also another variant that's designed for any iOS device, such as the Apple iPhone, iPod Touch, as well as the iPad. However, the design and the sound quality of the earbuds themselves should remain consistent. The actual AJ4s comes in multiple color variants. We have the black model here, and the claim to fame here is going to be that flap ribbon wire, which will prevent tangling when you're using the earbuds. Jace has also released the AJ's 5, which sell for roughly the same price range. However, the ear tips have undergone a dramatic evolution, and as a result, the AJ's 4, in my opinion, are a bit more unique looking than the AJ's 5, and also the AJ's 5 tend to be a bit more loose inside of the ears, and so some users have complained that they fall out a bit easily as opposed to the AJ's 4, which are a bit more snug. Taking a look at the box here, we have a very interesting design. It's almost a like soft-touch rubber, and a lot of attention has gone into the packaging. These are designed in Sweden, but they are manufactured in China, and in terms of specs, we have access to uh, a 8.6 millimeter driver on each of the ear tips and we have access to a 1.2 meter cable length as well as a 3.5 mil L-shaped uh, wire on the other side to plug it into any standard Android, iOS, or laptop. So to open up the packaging here, you actually need to press and hold on the bottom there and that shifts the entire box upward and inside you'll find access to a user manual that is documented in multiple languages it shows full color as well as shows you uh, the various terminologies for the earbuds the ideal listening range and also some more specs you also have access to a number of different gel tips for getting the custom fit that is most comfortable for you and that's basically it so taking a look at the design of the AJ's 4 next, again, they are pretty striking. They are modern looking earbuds, but I wouldn't call them uh, futuristic looking. In the sense, they don't have any super shiny materials on them that makes it really reflective uh, when you are wearing them. So they are pretty sleek, but they aren't too overly flashy, which I do like. Something else that's kind of interesting, this is a slight bump on one of the ear tips. This is a visual indication that this particular tip is for the right ear, and this one that doesn't have the bump is for the left ear. So if you are wearing these in the dark and just kind of feel your way around and know which one is for what year. Something I will also add about the flat ribbon wire design, it indeed resists any tangling, however it seems to add a bit more of cable noise. So if you are wearing these and you're jogging or constantly moving around, you'll hear a lot more noise uh, in the music, which isn't as great. But if you are sitting still, perhaps uh, on a seat in an airplane or maybe in the car, it works very nice. On the very back of the, of the remote, you'll find access to a microphone. You can use this to answer any calls directly, and it's a decent microphone. It's not the most noise isolating in the world, so if you do plan on answering calls in a marketplace, it's going to pick up some background sounds as well, but uh, in a quieter environment, it does the job quite nicely. There is an audio splitter, and the other side just features the standard 3.5mm jack, which is also gold-plated, and also features the J's logo embedded on it. Uh, this particular shape also allows the AJ's 4 to have extended durability so if you tug on the wire a little bit, it's not going to accidentally rip out or anything like that. Again, with a two-year service warranty, it's actually pretty good uh, for a earbud in this particular price tag range. So going on to the comfort, I have to say that the AJ's 4 are pretty good in terms of noise isolation. The gel tips are relatively soft, and they fit snugly at least into my ears. You can get a more custom fit, again, using one of the gel tips that are provided, and I didn't have any issues in terms of these accidentally falling out. Just apply a bit of pressure, push them in there, and for me, they stayed in pretty nicely. In terms of sound leakage, that didn't really happen too much, I would say. There is a slight amount of sound that will probably leak out if someone is sitting close to you. Voice isolation on the listener's part is also very good, so if you're checking out some music, you're not going to hear any engine sounds or anything in the background, which is great. Uh, in terms of the audio quality, we are also fairly impressed with the AJ's 4, again in the sub $80 price tag range. It offers a crisp sounding experience and the frequency is well balanced and overall it does a decent job of playing different music across the board uh, regardless of the genre. So pop music, electronic music, classical music, there is a ton of detail packed in here. Bass could be somewhat amplified, but overall these are very three-dimensional sounding earbuds, and if you're watching any films with them, you'll still enjoy the experience as well. So for an all-purpose pair of uh, earbuds, we were pleased with the sound quality on here. Uh, so they are definitely not just you know style over substance. However, one concerning aspect is the built-in remote and compatibility with a wide range of Android devices. I tested 
it with the OPPO Find 7, which is a pretty recent Android device, and it actually didn't work in terms of the volume control. So play, pause, answer, call keys all worked fine, but the up and down keys did not. And that's a little bit concerning, uh, again, for a device that's marketed towards Android devices specifically. With that being said, the AJs4 were released a few years back, so they're not the newest devices on the market. So that's probably why compatibility isn't going to be as strong with recent Android products, uh, maybe running Android 5.0, Lollipop, or even 5.1. So that's something to keep in mind. So at the end of the day, the AJ's 4 are a very good pair of in-ear style headphones. It delivers style as well as substance. Sound quality is surprisingly crisp and clean, and they're also pretty comfortable to wear. The design, again, is on point, and we also like the fact that the L-shaped 3.5mm jack is ultra durable as well. So to check out more information about the AJ's 4, be sure to read our full written review. This has been our video. Thanks for watching your OS reviews.